okay guys in this video tutorial we will learn about how to use the solar panels or PV photovoltaic arrays within the simulink for it you need to go to view and click on library browser then right here PV array or just write PV and click and here you can see the icon for the solar panel so right click on it and add block to model model untitled after it go and check that either you got your PV array yes we got it here Two inputs that is IR is for irradiance and T is for temperature irradiance is actually the amount of light or the intensity of light that is fallen on the or that is falling on the solar cells or solar panels and temperature is the temperature of this solar panel M is for to show the outputs or measure measuring the input parameters and output parameters so that we can uh, have a vi visualization of all these parameters then plus and minus is actually the outputs through which we can drive some circuits like some load circuits or some resistive circuits okay now we we have to give some values to ir and t that is the temperature so again we will go to view and we will click library browser and we will write here constant now right click on it and add it to the block that is the, the our untitled block again do it because we need two constant okay values so connect T with the lower one and connect above one with the IR that is the irradiance. Irradiance unit is actually watt per meter square. Watt is actually the amount of light and meter square is the unit for area. So if light is hitting some area we can say that or we can say that how much irradiance is actually falling on the or there on the solar panel so you can change the irradiance value to 80 watt per meter square press ok then for temperature we can write like 25 to 30 ok now we will go and we will take the display in order to have the outputs ok right click on this display add block to untitled and now we will attach display with the MR measurement port. Okay, now now we also need to play at one G power GUI block because it is very necessary when we are dealing with Simscape. Okay, now right click on it and add block to model entitled. Now you need to change its continuous property to the discrete one. So we will go and we will write discrete. Then we need to change the sample time. Okay, now we will press OK. Okay, now we will run it. Now we will talk about, oh sorry. We will talk about the outputs. And now you can see that the first one that the first output is actually the output voltage of the solar uh, panels are PV photovoltaic array so it is the voltage this is actually the amount of current that is the solar panel current why it is so much low because as it depends upon the irradiance moreover it depends upon the load because whenever load is not connected 
the PV current or PV array current is not going to produce so its value is so much less and then the third one is diode current diode current is these are actually the shunt diodes uh, used for the protection of this PV array so it is current through the diodes then we will come towards 80 80 is actually the radius value and 25 is the temperature value now we will try to measure the voltage on these outputs so again go to view and go to library browser then right here okay we we already got its voltage measurement so we will click it okay now okay now we will connect this positive with the positive of the pvr and active with the negative of the pvr and view and library browser display okay now now we will run it now you can see that the same voltage uh, we are getting on the display that is the voltage measurement so hopefully you got some bit concept regarding the usage of pv array within the simulink so thanks for watching this video tutorial